Here we go folks, this is Shock. Welcome to a beautiful day in California. 20% chance of rain, which means it is not going to rain, trust me. And I am hereby officially challenging Thunderfoot to a debate. That's right. The man who stuttered throughout the whole debate was Ray Comfort. The man who, when Ray Comfort asked him, do you believe in the scriptures? He said yes in debate. I'm going to show you proof of that. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you why I'm challenging th 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 the Thunderfoot to a debate. I know he'll chicken out like all atheists do. But I'm challenging him to a debate because, as you know, one of my uh, hobbies is to challenge the most subscribed to atheists on YouTube and then work my way down the unicorn Santa Claus worshiping leprechaun spaghetti monster eating chain and whoa let's go around that blanket right there and um so I started with the amazingly hellbound atheist you know him as the amazing atheist I call him the amazingly hellbound atheist let's punch through here real quick because I do not think there's anything I do not think there's anything amazing about someone so foolish has to choose hell over eternal life and salvation so I'm not happy about that I'm praying for the amazingly hellbound atheist there's still hope for him while he still has breath in him so the amazingly hellbound atheist I gave him three weeks to debate me now evidently he believes in macroevolution because he evolved into a chicken he chickened out. He does not want to debate me. Hundreds of you have contacted him, literally, saying, when are you going to debate him? You guys have sent me the emails that he sends you. He does not want to debate me. He has evolved into a chicken. He's afraid. So we, I gave him three weeks to man up and debate me, but uh, evidently his spine is made of his god, the spaghetti monster. A spine of spaghetti. So I went on to non-stamp collector because everyone said, well, he won't chicken out, Shock. Well, he chickened out. We gave him three weeks to debate me. He evolved into a chicken. So now we move further on down the Santa Claus worshiping, unicorn obsessing, leprechaun, spaghetti monster eating chain of atheists on YouTube. And now we get to Thunderfoot. Thunderfoot. I know you're watching this. This is for you. This is a challenge for you to debate me right here below at shockonl.net. There's a button there that says debate room. Go in there. All you got to do is have a headset microphone. I know you got one of those Thunderfoot. Go in there. You have three weeks to debate me. You're going to give me some good arguments that atheism is true. And I'm going to give you better arguments, factual arguments that Christian theism is true. And Thunderfoot, I guarantee you I'm going to destroy your arguments. I guarantee you. But I think for the onlookers there, they should have the right to see really how full of crapola atheism really is. Now, Thunderfoot, I wonder as I tap my finger to my formerly Bible-speaking mouth. I wonder if you're going to evolve into a chicken like the amazing atheist and non-stamp collector. I hope not. You got three weeks at the Thunderfoot. I hope that you go up there to shockonow.net. Right below, it'll say real big when you go there, enter debate room. You know, I won another debate last night from an atheist. Um... By the way, uh, Thunderfoot and everyone watching this, when I say that Thunderfoot agreed that the, the scriptures are true, he's talking about the Bible, you can see Thunderfoot agree that the scriptures are true. You know, he was debating Ray Comfort, and Ray Comfort said, let me do my Ray Comfort voice. I love Ray Comfort. I'm a fan of Ray Comfort. I respect the man. He's awesome. Ray Comfort was on my radio show, by the way. Um, if you want to see Ray, hear Ray Comfort on my radio show, go to Shock Radio right below, and you could hear us speaking with Ray Comfort live. But when Ray Comfort was debating Thunderfoot, he asked Thunderfoot, well, you believe in the scriptures, don't you? That's my uh, comfort voice, right? And Thunderfoot said, well, yeah. <laughs> 
So Thunderfoot in debate, here he's an atheist, he says he believes in the scriptures. Well, that's an automatic default loss right there. If you want to see Thunderfoot admit that he believes in the scriptures. <laughs> well, you can't write comedy like this, folks. An atheist that says he believes in the scriptures in debate. Here's how you see the entire Thunderfoot debate. Go right here below to shockanal.net. Click links at the top of the page, L-I-N-K-S. And then when the page pulls up, you're going to see the entire Ray Comfort debate. It's broken up into like six or seven parts, I can't remember. But the part where he says it, if you just want to go to the part where Thunderfoot says, when he's asking me, he believes in the scriptures, and he says, yes, go to the third debate. So Thunderfoot, this is my official challenge to you. I guarantee you, I will be able to destroy any arguments that you give for atheism. So Thunderfoot, I'll see you right here below shockonow.net you got three weeks to show up so have a big bowl of spaghetti monster hop on that unicorn you got three weeks this is the official challenge to debate me